Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Vipul Gupta. I hope you guys are doing great and enjoying this SQL interview preparation series. So guys, in our last video, we have discussed one of the most commonly asked interview problem titled employee manager salary. And we have discussed one approach to solve that problem. And in this video, we are going to discuss the other approaches. Also, we will be discussing a very important concept of SQL. That is the difference between where and having. But before proceeding, do not forget to hit the subscribe button so that you do not miss any update regarding my upcoming videos. So guys, let's get started. So guys, this video is going to be in continuation to our previous video. So I am assuming that all of you have watched the previous video already. In our previous video, we have discussed the problem statement in detail. We have understood some of the concepts that we have applied while solving this problem like application of self-join, applying having, uh, sub-query and other stuff. And in this video, I will be taking it further and I will be discussing some other approaches to solve this problem. So guys, first of all, let me help you to understand this problem statement once again. So the title of this problem statement is employee and manager salaries. And the ask of this problem is that we need to find the employees who are earning more than their managers. That is the salary of an employee is greater than the salary of the corresponding manager. In the output section, we want to print the first name and the corresponding salary of the employee right so based on this problem statement we have made these two pointers that is in the select statement we want to print the first name of the employee and the salary of the employee and we want to find the employee where employee salary is greater than the manager salary right now let me give you a recap of what we have done in the previous video so basically first of all we have used self join here so we just have only one table that is employee and we have all these details like we have the employee ID, the other details around the employee, then the ID of the manager, right? Now, based on this table, we have used self join, right? And the joining condition was a dot manager ID equals to b dot ID. That is, we have equated the manager ID from table A equals to the employee ID of the table B, right? And then we have used having clause so that we can filter out those records where salary of manager is greater than salary of employee, right? So applying having, we were able to find only those records where the salary of employee is greater than the manager's salary, right? So let me execute this self join part again for you guys. All right. So here I have not selected the having clause. I have just used the self join part only, right? And, and here we have printed all the employee, the employee salary, the manager ID, manager salary and the first name of the employee, right? Now, these are the records for all the employees, but we just want those records where the salary of employee is greater than manager salary. So that we have added this having clause here again, right? After that, we have put all this in a subquery and use the columns which, which, we, which we just want to print that is first name and the employee salary right so guys you have seen here that we have applied a sub query here to find out the first name and the employee salary that is we just want to print the first name and the employee salary but now i do not want to use a sub query here and i want to shorten this query by using some other approach right so now let me copy this part right All right. So let me execute it once again. All right. So guys, here what we are doing, we are applying this self join on this condition. That is a dot manager ID equals to b dot manager ID, b dot employee ID, right? But now I do not want to use sub query, so I will be modifying this part only, right? And since we just want those records or those employees whose salary is greater than manager salary. So instead of applying sub query, what else I can do? What I can do here is I can use where condition. So what where will do? So first of all, basically when we apply this inner, uh, this self join on this condition, it will give me all the employees, the salary, manager ID, manager salary and the first name, right? Now, so now you know the query execution steps. So first of all, from is executed followed by where then group by then having right so 
here i have used having clause because i want to use this employee salary and manager salary i have used these aliases but if i want to use where condition here so where now once we apply the self join we can filter out those records in the where condition itself right so for that what i can do i can use so basically i am comparing the employee salary which i am taking from the table a against the manager salary which i am taking from the table b so i will be using a dot salary greater than b dot salary right and instead of putting all these columns what i can do i i simply can mention the columns which i wanted to print in the final query so i will be using a dot first name as first underscore name right and it will be followed by the employee salary which i am taking from table a so a dot salary as employee salary right so now let's execute this to see the output all right so guys this way we can shorten this query and instead of using having we are using where clause here and we are putting this condition in the where clause itself right so guys i hope you have understood the first approach as well as the second approach to solve this problem but what is the major difference between these two approaches let's understand this so first of all in the first approach we have used having right and in the having clause we have used employee underscore salary and manager underscore salary and both are the aliases that we have defined in the select statement so first of all in order to understand the difference let's replace this having with the where clause and understand whether it will work or not so let's execute this part to see the output all right so guys here we are getting one error now why are we getting an error because as per the query execution steps right where will not read the aliases this alias has been defined in the select statement which happens after where clause right so guys let me mention the execution steps right so first of all in a query from is executed followed by where followed by grouping right and then having is executed followed by select right so now since select happens after where clause right therefore when where clause is executed it does not know that what is employee underscore salary or what is manager underscore salary therefore it is giving us an error that unknown column employee underscore salary in where clause right but with having it will work right so let me execute it once again so now it is working also now here is a catch that having also comes earlier than select statement in the query execution steps but in my sequel aliases can be used in the having clause now why it happens there is a technical reason behind it which i will mention in the description section below so for viewers who want to understand this concept in a detail they can refer the description section below right so guys now we know that uh, how we can use where condition and how we can use having condition and why where is not working in this scenario right now let's move to the third approach so let me copy this all right so guys in this second approach what we we have done we have used a self join on this condition that a dot manager id equals to b dot employee id right and then we have used this where condition but i want to mention here that while applying the on condition we also can mention or we can specify multiple conditions so guys in the third approach instead of using where condition after this joining what we can do we can mention this condition in the joining as well right that is we have used this condition so this is our first condition that is the manager id from table a should be equal to the employee id of table b right so what we can do we can add one more additional condition that is a dot salary is greater than b dot salary so what it will do it will basically join on these two conditions that is while we are doing this join with table a and table b it will check for these two conditions simultaneously right so now let's execute this to see the output
all right so we are getting the desired output but what is the difference so here again the difference lies in the query execution steps right so in this second approach what we have done first of all we have applied this join so let me execute this part right so what we have done we have applied the join and once we have the virtual table available after that sql is shortlisting the records where a dot salary is greater than b dot salary right but in the second approach instead of creating the whole table at once and after that filtering the records on this condition what we are doing we have made an additional condition that is the joining should match only those records where manager id of table a should be equal to the employee id of table b as well as the salary of table a that is the employee salary should be greater than the manager salary so guys this way we can attempt this problem and these are the three approaches which we can use to solve this single problem right so first of all let me give you a recap of all these three approaches once again so in the first approach what we have done we have simply used a self join on this condition that is a dot manager id equals to b dot employee id right and after that we have filtered out the records using this condition and we have used having here because we wanted to use aliases right and after that we have used the concept of subquery to find out the specific columns from this subquery right and in the second approach what we have done so instead of using having clause we have used where clause and since aliases do not work with the where clause so we have used the actual name of the columns to make the comparison right so here what is happening we are making a self join once we have the virtual table ready then sql is filtering out the records based on this condition right and then we are printing the final columns that we want to print in the final table right in the third approach what we have done so instead of using a where clause or having clause after applying the join what we have done while applying the join itself we have mentioned an additional condition right so guys in this video we have understand how we can solve this employee manager salary problem by three different approaches so as all these three approaches are acceptable in any interview so you can go with any of these three do let me know in the comment section which one you like the most